Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. With the good weather slowly fading and the stormy weather rolling in, I decided to dive into some unused footage from the summer months. Smile. Fred and Phoebes kindly take me out for a trip in their boat for the afternoon. It was an outgoing tide and the water visibility was great to start with, but got progressively worse as the tide went out. But as mentioned in previous videos, this allows for much better conditions to hunt bass. Less visibility for me also means less visibility for the fish which in turn allows them to get a lot closer than usual. The dives were roughly between 4 and 5 metres, so not very deep at all. Getting to know your marks allows you to better understand how and when it's best to fish. Every mark is different, what works for me here will more than likely not work on someone else's mark. So spending time over the summer months allows you to learn the layout of the ground and what fish surround these areas. At this particular mark it was plentiful of bass and mullet. But luckily for the mullet, they weren't on my list that day, so I had my eye focused on the bass. All I had to do was play the waiting game and wait for a nice sized bass to come in. After about 30 minutes of waiting around, my first glimpse of a larger bass was soon taken away from me as I missed this very easy shot. <laughs> Luckily, a couple minutes later, another fish swam right up to me, presented itself broadside, resulting in a very nice clean shot. With the one fish in the bag, I decided to call it a day and head back home, making sure to always unload your gun before swimming back to the shore or getting onto the boat. This just prevents any unwanted injuries. I'm up. So unfortunately, it's that time of the year where we have to dive into the freezer and cook up the catches which we caught previously in the year. As you've seen at the start of the video, I catch myself quite a nice bass. Um, that was put in the freezer about two or three months ago and I'm now at the stage uh, where I'm going to cook that fish up. So for the potatoes, I'm going to leave the skin on and basically cut them into little chunks, little cubes and then shallow fry these in uh, some oil. So half of this garlic is going to be used on the potatoes and the other half is going to be used on the fish. A little bit of ginger, I'm not going to use much. So here's the two leftover bits of fish I've got from that bass. A few little cuts in the skin here. That just allows it to cook a lot more evenly. And also it looks a lot, a lot nicer when the skin's crispy. You don't need to go all the way through with this. It's just literally touching the uh, surface. In. Oh, 
So for a little bit of decoration and also a nice little sauce to go with it, I'm going to put some pesto, it's creamy pesto. And then a bit more parsley. Squeeze the la squeeze the lemon, sorry. And then some olive oil to go in there. Salt and pepper. And a little bit of ginger and garlic also. So mix it up. Right, that concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and if you've got any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It's completely free to do so and this means that every time I release a new video, you'll get a notification through and you'll be able to click on it and watch the video straight away. I hope you enjoyed the little cook up part of the video. The fish was absolutely amazing. 